Imperial and Coronado Beach have been closed for weeks now. This after the county tested the water and says it's contaminated, making it dangerous for the public. Meanwhile, the beaches continue to stay closed. Tourists are upset. Business owners are frustrated. The CSA's Regina Eureta found the closure is turning away much needed customers. Summer is just around the corner, and for some people, that means heading to the beach. But for Imperial and Coronado, who have signs that read keep out, that means these beaches are closed at the moment. Happiness comes in waves. At least that's what people in Coronado and Imperial Beach are saying after visiting this weekend. Many have driven to these beaches with hopes of getting in the water. But once arrived, instead of packed shores, they're met with an empty beach and signs that say keep out. They're strongly recommending that we don't go in the water. Beach closures come after the county announced South Bay coastal areas continue to be impacted by Tijuana sewage flow causing contamination. Dirty water closures have been a problem for decades, but county officials recently implemented a new DNA based water testing system that gives them faster results. Something city officials are asking the county to reconsider. Revert back to the old testing so they can work out the issues with this that is resulting in much more beach closures than would be before. And that's because the city of San Diego carries out testing on our beach using the old testing as part of a binational testing program and those tests are coming up clean so we have serious concerns. Imperial Beach has been shut down for 30 days while Coronado which was once named the best beach in America has been shut down for 17 days. It's just a shame that the county seems to be oblivious uh, to our concerns. Mayor Serge Dedina says this new system is hurting local businesses and tourism like this health and wellness shop that I visited in Imperial Beach. The owner tells me it's been weeks of slow business. We've noticed over the past couple weeks, it's just not as busy as we normally are. Normally, the beaches are packed, and right now we do have a festival going on at the pier, and it just still, there's not that many people down here. And I think because, yes, if the beaches are closed, people are not going to venture. While some families have warned their kids to stay away from the water to avoid getting sick. It just seems unsanitary. Others didn't let contamination keep them from seizing the waves. In a written statement, Vice Nora Vargas says the health and safety of families is our top priority. Our families and children deserve to swim in clean waters. We will do everything we can to ensure beaches open in a safe manner. For CBS 8, I'm Regina Urita.